Hi there, this is Justin. It's been a while since I recorded a video for YouTube, but I'm really excited to get back into it. This is also the first video I'm recording with my new microphone, which I really hope will take the quality of my videos to the next level. In this video, I want to talk about something which is quite exciting. A popular tool that I use very often is called Stitch, and uh, now supports Google Search Console. If you're not familiar with Google Search Console, well, it's a free tool provided by Google, which provides insights and analytics on the performance of your website within Google search. So here, for example, we're looking at my blog, projectbi.net. We're looking at search um, on the web, not mobile, so web-based search. We're looking for the last three months. And we can see here a trend of impressions over time. So this is actual impressions of different pages for different search queries within Google. You can also look at number of clicks, average click through rate, average position. Uh, there's a whole range of features within Google Search Console. If you're not familiar with it and you're a marketer, then you really should uh, spend some time digging in here and taking advantage. Now, as I mentioned, um, Stitch now supports uh, Google Search Console. What does that mean exactly? Well, Stitch is a really, really powerful tool. It helps you move data from one place to another. So in this case, we're talking about moving data out of Google Search Console and then into a database. This means that we're not limited to the reporting and exporting options available within um, Google Search Console. So here, for example, I can't, you know, look at this easily, um, you know, as a moving window or, you know, group it by month and stuff like that. Uh, it's kind of limiting. Also, to manually export, you know, data all the time is a lot of work. Uh, with Search, with uh, Stitch, excuse me, we can connect our Google Search account and plug it into a database and every day or every hour depending how frequently we want to talk to google and pull the data out we can move the data into our database so what i've done is i've connected my stitch account to my google bigquery account and as you can see here i've managed to move the data from google search console into bigquery there's actually quite a number of reports. I'm gonna focus at, um, on two of them in this video, but you're welcome to explore the more granular reports like the country report and sitemap report and stuff like that. So if we take a quick look here, we can see this, um, I'm looking at the performance report date. Um, this is essentially an overview or like an aggregation type view. Uh, we have a date column, which is obviously very important. And then we have our site URL. So we're, you know, only looking at projectbi.net. Then we have impressions, search type, click through rate, clicks, position, everything I kind of showed up here. So now that it's easy to move the data out of Google Search Console into a database, what we can do now is we can jump to a tool like Tableau and visualize our data however we like. So what I've done, what I've done here is I've created, um, I basically replicated the same view that I showed you earlier. Here we're looking at at impressions on the web in the last ninety days. I've got a filter up here, last ninety days, and we see we've got our maximum number of impressions in this period at nine thousand nine hundred seventy-two, and our minimum is four thousand seven hundred thirty. So let's check these. So October twelfth, nine nine seven two. So if we go back to Google Search Console, we look at October 12th, we have 9972. And down here on October 31st, we have 4,730. And those numbers match, right? So as I showed you, we can now replicate what we have. Plus, we can do other cool things like, for example, easily switch from a monthly view to a, to a, a, sorry, a daily view to a, to a monthly view. In this case, we might want to just change it. Let's say we want to look at the last six months. Okay, so I'm just going to reset the filter. This is a live connection, so it's going to take a few seconds. And here we have now a monthly view. Maybe we want to show all labels. 
and there we go showing the number of impressions per month um cool so that's uh you know an example of what can do one of the more i'd say basic applications of this where things get really really interesting is in relation to the actual queries um so if i go back to google search console i can focus on a specific search query so in this case i want to look at how to become a business analyst so this is a keyword uh, a search query that i'm uh, targeting with one of my blog posts and you can see i can set it as a filter up here and i can look at this specific uh, query um, in terms of number of clicks total impressions average position etc so you know seo or search engine optimization is all about you know ranking for different search phrases so what i did in tableau is i created this really really nice view where i created a second um, data data source up here data connection and let's go and have a look at this query for a second and we can see i'm taking the position i'm just using max to get rid of all the duplications which are created thanks to stitch um, i'm looking at the query report and where query is how to become a business analyst and then just grouping so i get everything i get the position by date okay so if i come back here what, what you see is we have a timeline going all the way back to the middle of last year when the keyword was first picked up by google uh, for our site and back then we can see we were position 65 um, almost 66 by the way the reason there's you know it floats um, like percentage um, with the, you know numbers with decimals is because google essentially has multiple sites right for different countries and languages and that so they just give you an average across those and that's why it's you know it's not a, a whole number uh, you could always round it up if if you um or just round the i mean round the number if if it bothers you so what we see here is back when it was first picked up i was ranking around 66 for this key phrase and then we can see the change over time um see it dropped pretty pretty aggressively you know towards the end of last year and you can see with the color coding i basically put all instances where we were in the top 10 in green and the rest in red so you can see the first time we had green was back here in october very briefly we were in the top 10 for the keyword which is nice um, over here for a bit of a period and then quite recently we've been in the top 10 so i'm really happy about this there's a lot of search traffic for this keyword um, and it's really helping boost the traffic on project bi right now uh, and you can see you know um, the best we've done you know since recording this uh, or since uh, google picked up this keyword is number six so um, you know almost there if we want to go to the top three which is kind of always the goal um, we're getting close so we went all the way from 66 now you know we're hovering in the top you know around number 10 9 to 10 um, and it's obviously fluctuating a lot but this is a good sign because hopefully there's a lot of green here and we'll kind of stay in this range and hopefully improve um, and that's just one example right like if you're an seo specialist or an agency you could replicate a thing like this add a, a filter so you know you could switch easily between different keywords you could build tables showing the keywords in the top 10 and, and you know number of keywords in the top 10 over time um, there's a lot of different applications that you know you you can um, you can do with uh, this data so that's it um, if you have any requests for future videos if you'd like me to dive more into this topic uh, let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing uh, and clicking the like button it really helps um, you know get my videos in front of more people uh, and that's it so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one